Hey everyone, hope you're doing good. Welcome to another video of Swift interview series. Today, we are going to see the most important or rather the concept which is asked in almost all the iOS Swift interviews. I guarantee this. So let's just start it. This question is based on the weak reference. I'm sure you already know almost everything in theory about weak, strong and unknown. But trust me, when it comes to real practical problem, we tend to get confused. Let's look at the problem statement. We have got two classes here, class A and class B. Class A is pretty simple, short and simple. We just have one variable, instead one constant name, which has a value name. We have another class B. It has got one variable or property, you could say, and it has got one function. If you look at the property, it has got weak where another object, which is of type a optional. I'm sure by this time you must have figured it out why this A is optional. It is amended because we have this another object as of type weak. Let's look at the function. We have got another function, some function. And inside this function, we have this another object and we are assigning the instance of A to this another object. Line number nine, we just want to print the value of name from another object. We are just trying to instantiate B on line number 13 and trying to call some function on the object. Now, what do you think? What would be the output here? What would get printed in the console? Well, there are two possibilities. One, of course, we could have name as the output or we could have nil as an output. I'm sure a lot of us already have figured it out. The output would be nil, but why? Okay. Before calling it, let's just look at the result, what exactly the console prints. Nil. The output is nil. Well, the concept is pretty simple and straightforward. And you could see here in the playground as well, we got this warning that instance will be immediately allocated because property another object is weak. Now, if you look at line number six, we have declared another object as weak. And if we go with the basic definition of weak, it would not increase the retain count of any object. And for any object to live into the memory, we need at least one retain count. So here on line number eight, when we assign the object A to another object, it would get instantiated, but the very next moment it would get deallocated, leaving it to nil. And then of course, when we try to print nil dot name we would get nil as an output i hope you enjoyed today's video please let me know your feedback in the comments thank you so much